Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to discuss LiDAR and how to create a 3D model from the LiDAR data. As you can see in this picture, a georeference plane flies over an area and records the heights of everything below it. Here we're going to zoom in to Charleston, Illinois, home of Eastern Illinois University. Uh, we have LiDAR data for all of Coles County, so we're going to overlay it on top of an image of the campus. Here's Eastern Illinois University using a Bing map, using the Bing satellite system. Uh, it's just an orthographic view of the region. Uh, we're going to overlay a more detailed photo of campus onto the Bing's map. I'm going to pull away the Bing's map just to show you that the photo is geo-referenced. And then from here we could add the buildings. These are highlighting all the buildings on the campus. So you can see uh, what we're going to be working with. From here, we're going to keep the buildings highlighted, but we're going to remove the imagery and add our LiDAR imagery. As you can see here, this is elevation points going from low the dark blues to high with the dark reds. And we're going to zoom in to Pemberton Hall. Pemberton Hall is located on the northwest side of campus. And as you can see, we could remove the buildings again, and all the buildings are in that dark red, meaning that's taller elevation. Since these are 3D points, they do have X, Y, and Z coordinates from which we can look at from the 2D orthographic view to the 3D view of the area. By using the pan and the orbit tool, we can rotate around the building so you can get a better view of the 3D points. If you notice, we have the green around. Those are the trees and other vegetation on campus around the buildings. From here, we turn these LiDAR points into CAD points and then bring them into Google SketchUp, which is the universal standard to build a 3D model. Next, I took these Pemberton Hall points and brought them into Google SketchUp and connected the points in order to construct the windows, the walls, and the roof of Pemberton Hall. I went around and snapped pictures of the building and added those to the building. Uh, the building doesn't have too much detail because in order to get it onto Google Earth, the memory has to be low. From here, we'll leave Pemberton Hall, go past Old Main here, and head over to Blair Hall, which is another building that I've been constructing in Google SketchUp. I used the same process with Blair Hall as I did with Pemberton Hall. Just connected the points in order to construct the roof and the walls, and then I attached the pictures. Once the whole campus is finished, many analyses can be done, such as solar analysis to find out solar radiation from the sun, or viewshot analysis from any of the windows on campus. You could see what is in the line of sight.